Hey friends, I hope you're having a great day today. Welcome back to my studio. Before I talk a little bit about the busyness going on behind me, I wanna paint another small little six by six painting, kind of like this one. But I wanna paint, uh, I think they're called Black Eyed Susans. I took some photos on the walk the other day. You can kind of see let me know if those are black eyed Susans in the comments. I really appreciate, I really appreciate it. I don't know flowers. Um, I learned recently that these are Queen Anne's Lace and I love the name. <laughs> yeah, I know that was, that was a bad joke. So I recently did this video with a traceable if you wanna try it. And I'm wanting to try something a little looser like the Queen, Anne, Queen Anne's Lace I just pointed to. So no traceable. I just thought you might wanna tag along while I practice painting black eyed Susans. And then these are all behind me because I'm looking at them. I have an interview with a gallery in Omaha tomorrow and they want me to bring some original paintings, uh, just a few. They don't want me to bring everything I have. I'd already sent them a resume and some sample artwork, but I'm, you know, you're an artist, you wanna see them up close and personal. So that's why those are behind me because I'm looking at them. Okay, let's have some fun painting flowers. <laughs> I decided to do a little time lapse before I pop in. So I just, um, I'm using some of my Liquitex, Tex, <laughs> my Liquitex basic colors. Um, this is bright aqua green. I use this in the sky and the uh, Queen Anne's lace. Little six by six painting I did. It was in the intro of this, this video. I just think it makes a really yummy, pretty, it's really an ocean color, but I like the sky color. And this time I mixed it with cobalt blue hue. This is almost gone. Partly why I'm, I'm using it, just to get it used up so it doesn't, I'd rather use it than have it go dry on me. And then I put out some cadmium orange hue. I only have the orange in the basics. I don't know if that's because of what I could find during the pandemic. This is August of 2021 as I'm videoing this video and I put out some white. And so I did the pretty sky, and here's a fun little tip. If you're not into painting clouds or you struggle with clouds, I've got a cloud video. Oh, sorry, my, uh, my phone just wiggled because I've got my microphone cord taped to the arm and it popped off. <laughs> sorry about the wiggle. I have a cloud video that just shows using white on blue so you can practice making clouds that way. But you can just do simple brush strokes one direction isn't that fun here maybe you want to see it closer i think that's really fun and pretty i like how simple it is i used a number 12 royal lang nickel this is their menta line it's a really nice brush i got it at michael's i got the six by six canvas board at michael's oh and the watercolor pencils that i wrote love on the canvas are from michael's yeah, yep. It's like one great big Michaels commercial. I I like their discounts. I like their coupons. Their buy one get one free. Um, hang on a second, my phone's ringing. Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, Michaels doesn't sponsor my videos, but maybe maybe they will. That would be really awesome. If Michaels or somebody wanted to sponsor some of my videos, that'd be fun. Okay, so I used the. I already talked about the clouds. I used the cat orange to mute down my pretty aqua green color to make a muted blue green. And then, I, so I'm painting kind of like in my daisy paintings where I'm just gonna have, you know, I'm gonna have some bigger flowers, well, or taller flowers, maybe might be a better word. And then um, you're kind of 
I don't know if it's going to be looking like you're kind of looking up a hill or it's just going to be grasses in the background kind of thing. So I'll get a little closer. And then I've got a couple places because I've only got one layer of paint on where it popped. But I'm not too worried about it uh, because I'm going to paint quite a few layers over it. And I like, I like that I catch the texture of the canvas. Some artists like it smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry. It's almost dinner time for me. I'm gonna save this palette. I might still be able to use it. I might have enough room. So we're gonna, we'll put out some uh, cad yellow. Well, I'll run through those when I get back so you can see them. Okay guys, back in a bit. Hey Freckles, were you just yelling at me? Oh, I don't know if they can hear that because my microphone's on. Hey, boo-boo. Hi. So Freckles was just yelling at me. I don't know if you can hear because I have a microphone on, but she's still talking. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. I don't think she wanted to say hi, but I got her on camera anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if they can hear you. Okay, so I sketched on a couple of where I think my main... Uh, Black Eyed Susans will go. I realize I've almost got them like um, like on a dice. I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna put some subtle ones back in here. You know, kind of just play with it and see how it works. I put out Cad Yellow Medium. I put out some Red Oxide, just for fun. And some Mars Black. I don't think, do we need to review? Um, Cobalt Blue Hue, which I mixed, oh, this fun color. As long as I'm kind of reviewing bright aqua green, cat orange hue. Here's all as I'm showing, and yellow. I buy Liquitex because they can. Here, I haven't mentioned this in a couple of videos. I like that they can stand on the caps, so it's easy to store them. I just have them on a shelf right to my right here, or else I keep them up here on my art table. So I'm gonna. Gosh, I'm not. I think I'm not sure where I'm gonna start exactly. I might even lighten this up. I think I'll time lapse here and pop in again when I think of something. Just kind of, I just drew the shape of where I want the outer edges of that flower to go. And I just, this is white chalk pastel that I used and I just lightened it up so much I couldn't even see. <laughs> see what I was doing there. All right, I will pop back in when something occurs to me, guys. thought I'd pop in for a screenshot. So all I'm doing is the red oxide, the orange that I mixed here, I, I had originally put some white in it, which would make it much more opaque. And then I went back to this. So it's yellow, some red oxide and some orange, just to get sort of the first petals down. And I've mentioned this in the last maybe video or two. I'm just sneaking up on the values. Uh, I don't always save white for last, but I'll save the highlights for last and I'll kind of come up. Um, you can work the other way. Acrylic paintings are really forgiving. Oh, and then there's some chalk dust on, I don't know if you saw that, but I, I even could wipe, wipe. Uh, <laughs> sorry guys, I could just wipe it right off. So I just, I thought I'd pop in for a screenshot. I don't know if I actually gave you one in case you want to see. Then I'll go back to painting some more. Oh, and then I was using, maybe I should mention my brushes. I don't think I did. So for a little while, for the petals, I was using a, oh, it's starting to split. I got these on Amazon. It says Zhu, Z-H-U Zing, artist brush number four. It's a little filbert. 
Um, they were really inexpensive. Came, came in a pack. And the, this is the number 12 Menta. I think I mentioned it earlier. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey, I thought I'd pop in and try to talk while I paint a few petals. So things, it's really starting to get to the point where I start to like it. Um, I'm not totally sold yet, but I'm, I can tell that it's going to get there to where I like it. Um, putting in just some brush strokes for interest. I, mean, I think I'm going to come back with some white and that bright aqua green. And just put in some hints of I kind of like this right here I, I was testing it out earlier I don't know if I like this right here but anyway I'm working on the flowers right now and so I just kind of keep building up layers I'm trying to be a little looser with my brush strokes I want these darker and these yellower so that's about all I'm thinking right now See what this does if I add a little orange. Oh, well, that's kind of pretty actually. So sometimes I use the edge of my brush. And there's kind of a three quarter. So it's not straight on the edge and it's not flat. I kind of got a three quarter turn on it. You don't have to get that. Oh, crazy is the only word that comes to mind right now. So I really like that the yellows and the oranges are transparent because I can keep building it up. And I can even kind of get a highlight there on that dark one. I don't know, do I want... So sometimes you'll see me do that. I'm kind of thinking about it. <laughs> I'm not actually putting any paint down. I think I'll put it... Oh, and maybe we want to attach it. So we need a little opaque... And we'll lighten it up and attach it there. I mean, you can play. I love that flowers, gosh, they have broken petals. I mean, I make them more regular than they are. I mean, look at that one. It's got like a broken petal, a big petal, or maybe it's two petals and a space and a long petal. I mean, they can get quite, I don't know, funny by making these a little more stylistic. And then sometimes you fatten it out fatter than you want, like I did right there. We'll just go with it. So I don't know. I didn't know if that helps. If I talk a little bit about... Maybe I'll try and paint a few more. Actually, I think maybe what I'll do now... Oh, shoot. I definitely want a little more coverage down here, I think. Sort of hints of petals, but not more in the shade. So I don't know that in the shade that they would look. I don't think I have a photo with them in the shade. Well, that one's kind of in the shade. They're actually more yellow, and I'm making them more orange. You can make them however you like. I'm more concerned about the value right now. Okay, that stands out better. And I like that I put, I kind of early on put some uh, of the aqua and the white right there. I think that's kind of neat. I like that. I was tempted to add more colors to my palette, but I think we have plenty. I mean, you can always add more color, but I, um, I find it easier to unify a painting if I don't have too many. And like I mixed my greens. Okay, so I definitely want, I don't know if that's gonna, oh, and I wanna put some greens in this one because it's 
not really open. I don't think I'm going to open that one up. So now this is just straight up white and yellow. So I kind of worked from the darks and I pick up how, see that's as bad as light. I can go white. Let's see what white looks like. I haven't used white yet. Whoops. Got a blob of white. Oh, that works. And I'm trying not to, I'm trying to be looser with my petals than I was in this video. These are kind of loose. I probably just bumped my video arm, didn't I? Sorry about that. They're, they're loose. I'm just working on loose flower petals. I feel like these might be a little bit more confident in brush stroke. I guess that's what also what I mean is more confident in brush stroke. So you notice how I've gone back here, if you've been watching the whole video, that might be the fifth spot of color I put there. I just keep kind of adjusting. All right now the question is, is how far down do we want some of our light? It's kind of nice. Well that one's kind of faded back. I don't know if I want to put any on that one. So this is not quite white. It's close because I picked up some white, but I still had a dirty brush. Oh, and if you're, here's something. So a really neat artist will always grab from the same area, so they always have clean white or clean blue to grab from, but sometimes I get a little, a little sloppy. A little sloppy when I grab paint. Oh, I kind of like that. Like, sort of like little sun splashes. Okay, and then, so now I've got some really white, or really light highlights. So I'm going to go back and put in some more mediums. I think these are quite dark. I don't know if I'll go darker or what, so I'm cleaning out my brush. Fairly well, there's still a little stuff in there. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we want to put up some straight yellow because that's going to be transparent? Let's see what that does for us. Straight up out of the tube cad yellow. That's kind of pretty. Let's pull this one a little more forward. Oh, that didn't pull that one very much forward. Did a little bit. Okay, this is going to be inefficient, but I'm going to grab if that's still wet enough. Put that back in there. Maybe grab some yellow and white. that one forward a little bit. All right, I'll be back in a minute, guys. I got rid of you kind of quick there because I could hear my husband coming. <laughs> I thought he was going to talk to me. Um, I'm trying to be a bit dramatic by just having like a drop of light. I shift the color a little bit, maybe add a little white or a little whatever to it in my puddle. And then like sometimes I stop my brush stroke short because your eye will go, oh, the petal connects. You know, even though I've connected most of them, isn't that fun? Like this one doesn't totally connect. That one definitely doesn't connect where the highlight is. Just 
just makes it a little more interesting. Just playing with light a little bit. Gosh, I think that might be pretty good. I might, oh here, did I give you a screenshot? I might take a break, add some more, maybe little details in the background, but we could be getting close. I thought I'd pop in and talk about what I'm thinking. So at this point, the painting um, can take longer than it looks on, a lot longer than it looks on the video because I'll, I'll step back, I'll stand it up, I'll step back and I'll get six feet away from it. I mean, it doesn't have to be six feet, but just to give you an idea. Um, I'll kind of, like I've lightened this a little bit. I like that little glow there. I'm wondering if this one needs a little more glow. I really don't have a star of the show here, but I don't know if we need one because I tend to have everything looking in, you know? I'd love to know in the comments, does it need a star of the show? I wonder if I should just make that one brighter. But that one's almost dead center in the middle of the painting, which is something you want to kind of try to avoid. <laughs> Maybe I should uh, work on those details. And then I'm also thinking, do I like, let's see, do I like that? Is it okay? Do I want to lighten it? So you can overpaint. I do that. Oh, that's way darker than I... Um, I tend to not want to talk too during this stage much. So that'll be interesting. Uh, by the time this one posts, we've already done a, at least one live. So that'll be, <laughs> be interesting to see how that goes for me. Oh, here, I can show you. It's not done. This will be out of order because the live will happen in just a few days and this video won't post for probably a week or so. But we're going to paint a jack-o'-lantern on this. I'll turn it sideways. Isn't that fun? I got it started because we want to try to keep the lives to an hour so we can get them uploaded with our internet. And then I'm going to paint this jack-o'-lantern. Well, here, I'll hold it this way first. This jack-o'-lantern and cat and spider on it. It just makes me laugh. It's so cute. I don't know if you need to see it sideways to see it bigger if you want to take a screenshot. So this traceable will go up on my website. All right, I digressed. Okay, so did I want to soften this or is it okay that it's... So then I use my uh, finger just to kind of... So it, it'll catch on the canvas, but it won't be too strong. I don't know if that made a bit of difference. So I get scared at different parts. So I'm liking this now. So I'm like, oh, do I do any more? Do I stop? Um, I'm always nervous in the beginning, especially with this one. I didn't have a traceable or anything. I didn't have a game plan, which is probably why I stuck one of the flowers right in the middle. You know, your brain wants to even things out, um, wants to do patterns. When I say your brain, I just don't know how to word it. Um, our minds, maybe that's a little a little nicer. I wonder if we want any little... So like I added some blacks for little sparkles, which I really like. You know, I could add a little dot of white. That one really didn't show. Oh, I've got to put the green, um, like these leaves that pop off, it's, it starts all covered green and then they open up. I need to put some of those on there. I get the little... I kind of like the... Oops. So, you know, I'm shaky, happy accidents. It's okay. You can always fix it if it's really bad. You don't like it. If I really want to put white down here. My brush, that's an inexpensive brush. This is just a, I don't know, it's a little round brush. It's splitting. So sometimes if you roll it in the paint, get it a little wet and roll it, you can get a better point. 
kind of want to put. Ooh, I kind of like. It's kind of like adding sparkles and fun. I kind of want to put one here, but I've got that pushed back. Oh, I'm gonna do it right here. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's stop. I'm gonna add some of these little. Whoops. <laughs> Little aqua things, and little leaves or flowers. Play with that a little bit, and then maybe we'll call it done pretty soon. Hey, I'm calling this one done. I'm gonna save my palette in case I see anything I wanna fix. I stick it, I think I've, I've got a video on this, plus I've mentioned this a few times. Of course, I don't know which videos you watch. I stick it in a gallon baggie. Makes a little terrarium. It'll keep for a couple weeks, or you could like spray it in a week if you wanted to keep it. It won't keep forever. It keeps way better in the tubes. I'm starting to fall in love with this color. <laughs> Bright aqua green. I wonder if I can get it in the heavy body. Um, boy, Liquitex says that the heavy body um, tubes of paint are more heavily pigmented, which I'm assuming they must be because it's thicker paint. But man, that's a strong color. You know, I really can't tell a difference. This is kind of nice if you want to get some more texture. You don't have to add any, if you want to get a little texture, you don't have to add any medium to it to make it thicker. I'm digressing though. I really like this. It did turn out looser than this one. This one's more storybook. So I, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's almost like it could be in a some children's book or something. It, I really like it. It's really pretty. Um, I like that I pulled, sorry, I'm just trying to, sorry about my arm guys. I'm trying to set that back down. I like that I brought back more of the straight up aqua color in here. So I just have here, let me see if this is on camera. Get a screenshot for if you want to grab one. Oh, maybe get my thumb, thumb out of there. Um, I like, like I've just got a brush stroke, a skinny brush stroke. I put in some oranges to maybe hint at some more black eyed Susans. I've got a little weed or something growing there and I kind of hinted at another weed there. Probably should have a third. Oh shoot, I forgot. Good thing I saved my palette. I forgot. I kept forgetting to put. <laughs> I don't, I think it needs it. I don't, you guys can put in the comments, did it need it? Here, I'll get my liner brush out. Um, let's start with a kind of bit lighter green. Let's see how it looks. Oh, my fingers are dirty. So I'm basically going to make an X. Isn't that slick? And then you could, um, get my brush a little wet here. I'm going to grab some of the little bit darker green. It's starting to dry on me. Maybe just a smidge of black. Oh, black's so strong. So it helps if you vary your color. Of course, I'm almost painting over everything there. Does that show? It kind of smeared on me a little bit. Let's see if I can get one more in here. Ah, doesn't want to. Let's just move it. So I just kind of vary the color of things. Vary the greens. I have warm greens and cool greens. So I could even stick a little. I mean, you can play and play and play and play. I don't see my liner brush is starting to, the little skinny brushes tend to go quick on me. I don't know if it's because I'm hard on them or it's just because there's not very many hairs and they just like to split.
Yeah, I think I like that that has some... And I could take, I mean, you can, I could keep playing. I don't know what this is, but I could vary that up a little bit. Just kind of add some dots going down the line. I don't think it's not, it's not the stem. This is actually the stem because the center's there. So this one's the stem. Okay, guys, I hope you like this one. I'm really happy with the colors. I think it's yummy. has a little bit of a fall feel since I put the rusts in it. And then it, here in uh, the Midwest of the United States, in the fall, the skies get really crisp and blue, even though that's kind of aqua. What else do I need to tell you? Let me know what questions you have. Oh my gosh, my, um, oh, I don't have it with me. It's in the other room. My sink, my big red, it's a, I think it's a maple tree. It's just a single tree, simple landscape. It's doing really well. I'm getting lots of views today. I couldn't be more thrilled. I'm glad you guys are liking at least some of my videos. It just, it makes my day. When you leave a comment and say hi, I love that too. Uh, what else do I need to say? Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me this long. I really appreciate it. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.